Hello everybody. Here we are, turn three on the eastern front. You notice things are a little bit different. Uh, there was a small unit that was here for the Russians. The Germans attacked. There was a half exchange right here, so the Germans had to lose one unit, and they took out there. And there was that one unit that came up that was sitting right outside that fort. And they came out of this fort and out of that fort, attacked, and took them out. Uh, that was, I think, another exchange, half exchange. So, in result, uh, right now, there's nobody on this frontier for the Russians until you get down over here by the Austro-Hungarian Empire. The Austro-Hungarians basically hung out and said, hey, we're not attacking. Uh, we're just going to be in the defense. They don't have the strength at the moment to do that. They're waiting on Big Brother to take care of things for him. So, yeah. Or waiting for what's happening down here. Uh, there was two units here. They attacked here first. Had a small exchange. Ha I think it was, yeah, another half exchange. Took out the one Serbian unit there at the loss of a unit. Because was these two stacks attacked. Now there's only one stack. It tells you how many they lost. And they attacked across here. And it was another... Uh, what was it? Um... Defender demoralized, and the result was uh, they had to um, retreat, but they had no place to retreat to, so they got taken out. So, right there, we have all of Belgrade has fallen. So, right now, there is only two cities left of Serbia those two right there. So, this one. And that one there too. So they lost their major city and now they got two minor cities left. Then one unit to protect them. That's not a lot. They're not going to be around very much longer, probably. Things over here on the western front. Well, we have some changes. Uh, they attacked, the Germans attacked here. They had the stop gap unit that went into that gap there and got taken out, but there was some, uh, losses in the process of that happening. And so the Germans lost, I think they had lost one unit out of the deal because they, and yeah, I think it was another half exchange. It seemed to be the, the par for the course right now. And then there was an attack that happened, I think it was, I think, where were they at? Here. There was a unit here. Uh, so they, everybody attacked across here, smashed into them, and took them out. Completely crushed them. Defender eliminated, so they got pushed out. Well, they didn't push out, they just pushed into where they were. And there is no more... Belgium. The Belgium. Belgians have fallen. They got crushed. But not before. Now, the, uh, they didn't take anybody with them, but right now there's one unit that has the garrison. So the Germans will need to get a unit in here to get help garrison with uh, some smaller units because these 684s are too precious to be hanging out in garrison duty. They need to be up on the front line. So if there's a 464 that can be built someplace, build it and put it in there to be as a garrison. Because those 463s, 464s are garrison troops, in my opinion, for the Germans at the moment. So that is it. That's the entire turn for the Central Powers. They had some successes, and it's sort of compounding on the Eastern Front. The Russians went rushing in, uh, expecting some good glory, and it didn't work out so good to them. And now they're paying the price at the moment. What little forces that the Germans have seem to be working at the moment. But they Germans really can't do it much at the moment when it comes to advancing. Because they just don't have the resources to do it. But uh, the Russians have to watch because all it takes is some moving... They got open cities here, they got some open forts, the whole frontier is just open at the moment. So if the Germans decide to rush troops in there, they might be able to take advantage of that. And we'll just see what happens here. And down here, 
I would say at the moment, half of this force right here can now be pulled out the next turn and shipped by rail up north to fill them. Because they don't need all this stuff down here to take out what's left of Serbia. Now, just to be honest, you know, they'll leave some troops here as uh, garrison for because they have to garrison that one city there. And that is it. Then they'll move on. All right. That's everything that happened this turn. Uh, we'll just see what the, this Allied Power turn brings. All right, we'll be back. All righty, buddy. It is uh, Allied turn three. As you can see here, the Russians moved some troops up and took care of some, built some forts up on the frontier, railed them up to the front. They got more troops in the back here, marching their way to the front. Uh, it's pretty much a pretty barren wasteland over here. Uh, they did have one success. They did uh, take Lemberg here. Uh, but it was an ex you know, exchange happened, so they lost a lot of troops taking it. But they did take the city right there. And, uh, well... Sometimes when you get an exchange, it's very costly. So they might have enough troops to take this fort right here and push back the frontier against the Austro-Hungarians. The Austro-Hungarians are losing troops like crazy right now. And so are the, well, right now the next thing is, is just how long will Serbia last before they collapse? And it's going to be one of these things where... Uh, Hungarians, Austro-Hungarians are going to have to pull some troops out of here and run them up there to stem the tide that's working its way there. Uh, the Western Front has turned into a bloody mess. <clears throat> you got this corridor that's being fought over right here. There were a nice stack of German troops right here, but these guys right here attacked, took them out, an exchange and an exchange attack which sort of kind of favors the uh, the Germans because the French you know they don't have as many replacements coming in next turn but they did stop them and that's a kind of a bloody nose for the Germans right now that's not very often that happens and over here there was another three-prong attack right here they brought some reinforcements in here attacked and took out that stack with a half attack, so half exchange. So it did work to their favor right here. So two advanced uh, German corps were, you know, army groups basically there, were taken completely out of the picture. And the British have moved up and are on the frontier right here. They really don't have the strength right now to go into take on these German army groups that are stacked out through there but we'll just see what happens and they have a very small little group that showed up right here that will be marching their way off to war here soon all right so that's pretty much it when it comes to the allied turns they had some successes uh not very much of a success in Serbia, but the Russians are having some success against the Austrians, and, well, they got their nose punched in against the Germans over there. The French seem to be holding their own right now, and we'll just see what happens. All right, we'll be back with turn four.